All right, y'all. Welcome back to my podcast. It's your girl, P. And today, I got some... I'm just smiling because I'm happy, but this is not good news. Um, I personally haven't seen this happen in the past four years. I can't tell you if it's happened before in the industry. It probably has. Wouldn't be surprised. Or when it's happened, um, maybe I'll try to get a few of my um, friends that's been in the industry some years and they might have some thoughts on it, but I wanted to get on here and hold on. Buddy's been trying to like sneak through the bathroom, but I wanted to get on here and just talk about this seven day hold in the industry. And I also was thinking about it, even though like I'm personally not in that particular industry. I feel like we are all in this together. Um, I feel like it's kind of one of those deals. And I also was... I want to talk about the people who are just not in sex work at all, just like in the vanilla world out there doing their thing. So right now, they put a seven day hold for, damn, I thought I took a screenshot. Okay. Well, I'll just read it because I don't want to, I've, ne I've never gone through this process or heard any of this, but it says, past calls for production hold after reports of increased STIs. Pass is calling a seven day production hold on adult content after a reported increase of STIs among adult performers and content creators. All producers and performers should abstain from non-solo adult content production until after December 12th, 2022. All tests within the PASS system will be reset on all, and performers will need to retest on or after December 12th, 2022, in order to be cleared to work. Those who are not currently testing within the past system should also retest on or after December 12th and make sure that potential partners also tested clear on or after December 12th. <clears throat> The production hold comes after reports on increase in chlamydia among adult performers and content creators. Over the past several days, PASS has been in contact with lab performers and blah, blah, blah. So they're wanting, if you're in the industry, like, to stop. Like, just stop fucking. <laughs> you got six more days at this point. This happened yesterday. They put a seven-day hold. Um... Honestly, this is the way I look at it. One, I'm thankful that none of my friends have personally caught this. Um, super thankful for that. I will say that if you are in this industry and you're not going through talent testing and keeping up with that, shame on you because you're just making it look bad as a whole, in my opinion. The ones who choose not to get tested or to lie on their tests, like, come on, we're all supposed to be responsible adults and I feel like society already looks down on sex work. So don't do anything that's going to make us look even worse by out here doing all these people and not going to get tested. That's unhealthy. It's not safe for you or the other people in this industry. It just is not, it just ain't cool. Um, luckily, again, all my friends do get tested. So I don't really associate with people who do those sorts of things or who don't because Honestly, even if you're not my friend, I don't want I don't want to associate with somebody who's in doing porn and not getting tested. That's just gross. And I would always have to tell them about themselves. I had girls that I knew in the past that would do that and I would tell them about themselves and we would just get into it. So I'm just like, you know what? I cannot associate with y'all. Um I also want to say this so if you're not in this industry and you're watching this video to like look down or to talk about it or have some fucking comment to say, I'm going to say this. Y'all don't know what y'all's husbands really be out there doing. Y'all out here, y'all might go to the club, have one little drunken night and end up at a guy's house or a girl's house or whatever. And oh, no one has a condom. So, oh, are we going to take the time and try to at least go be safe for your condoms, but a lot of y'all don't. Y'all be too drunk and fucked up, and y'all just are having unproductive sex, and 
I just feel bad because if something like this is going on in an industry where they're getting tested every couple of weeks, and I know people around the regular world that is not being tested, and they're just, and you don't know, like, people think their partners are being faithful to them, but, like, let's face it, that's not the type of society we live in, y'all's, y'all's men be out here cheating, and who knows what they're doing, and, like, y'all just don't know, so I feel like, if you were watching this video for that, just think about if this is going on with people that are practicing the safest sex possible, what do you think's going out in the real world? So I just want y'all to be safe out there to either remain abstinent, <laughs> which I know can be hard and challenging. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. I know. Um, <laughs> use condoms. Get tested on the regularly. Like, keep yourself safe. Like, be safe out there in them streets. All right. That's all I got to say. Peace.